Welcome to your December 7th to 12th, 2018 love reading. Again, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not. If you've been with me to Shea C. Tarot before, welcome back. Thank you so much for the support. I've already meditated on your cards, shuffled, and I've had some beautiful sage burning for your reading as well as the healing stones surrounding your reading. So those of you that are brand new, welcome to Shea C. Tarot. I appreciate you visiting. Remember that this is a general reading, so some things will resonate, some things will not. Okay, and even though I'm doing this the 7th to the 12th of December, does not mean everything is going to occur within that time frame. Things can sometimes happen months later, weeks later. Some things may be already happening for you right now. And if it doesn't resonate for you at all, then this reading's not meant for you. Okay, so again, thank you so much for being here. And happy holidays. It's hard to believe it's almost mid-December like wow whenever you get this reading and you're feeling it it feels like your story then it's totally meant for you you may want to consider the extended reading I do after this reading because that means it's meant for you and in the next reading in the extended version I do about another 15 to 20 minutes um, usually just you know a little over 15 minutes and I pull a lot of other cards for you as well I pulled my 20 to 25 year old enchanted tarot cards that really drop out for me and sometimes they will double clarify any cards that are occurring here for you which is great and then I pull the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels to see if the Romance Angels has any love messages for you as well as some Angel Oracle cards which is Angel Guidance cards that give you messages from the angels they want you to hear and the Colette Baron Reed they are beautiful artistically Look how beautiful that is. So I pull some of these cards as well. These are tarot cards by Colette Baron Reed. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you have the King of Swords. You have the Three of Cups. You have the Death card. You have the Page of Swords. And you have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so let's see what I'm seeing here. I see that there is somebody that is cutting out a lot of crap in their life okay to put it quite bluntly this king is sword energy which is all about mental clarity and making firm ground decisions from the head not the heart this king signifies standing very strong and very honest and firm in their beliefs they're very strategic in their thought they're a powerful type of leader very strong-willed. Sometimes it can represent a divorce. Uh, it doesn't have to be just yet. It is somebody who is very strong and determined and thinks with their logic. They think logically, okay? There is a celebration here. This could be somebody celebrating the fact that they're standing strong against something that ended. It could have been a marriage that ended or some situation that ended that with a Scorpio. It could just mean that you're celebrating with a Scorpio, you've had mental clarity, or with the death card here, Major Arcana, that something has ended. It could have been a relationship that ended in divorce and people are celebrating that they have a brand new beginning. Could be you, could be your love interest, could be both of you celebrating coming together after something ended. Okay, that could be because the death card is about death and transformation, ending something and beginning brand new. This is the page of swords. Again, this page is delivering news. Okay, usually this page is younger, doesn't have to be. Okay, it's somebody delivering honest news, clear news, clarity, some kind of clarity after something ended. And it could be some relationship or something that ended in divorce it could have been a long-term relationship that ended and somebody's coming to speak their truth here about it and they're celebrating could be the fact that you know they they wanted to end this has been a long time waiting that could be because this is a this is a brand new beginning and good news now with the death and transformation card it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship that ended and, and there's a brand new start here. It could be anything that ended and there's a brand new start here. Could be. 
because sword energy is all about mental thinking okay it's not actual forward movement yet but it is death and transformation it's something that ended in something that's brand new beginning it's usually some good news usually truthful honest news but let's continue on here and see with this here being the death and transformation card though and the king of swords i'm feeling like it could have been a divorce but again we're not sure yet so let's continue on here and this is a general reading so if this does not resonate for you do not force it okay i'm reading for thousands of sagittarians out there if you'd like a private reading more geared toward your energy i can figure out your moon and rising for you i don't expect you to do that you can go to shasee.com s-h-a-s-i-e.com and i also do of course you know live uh recordings for you or live recordings <laughs> live video for you of your reading and you can choose your different cards if you like so we can do that on skype or facetime or if you prefer i can do a video recorded link for you and you can watch it at your leisure at your leisure have a cup of coffee sit down and watch your reading make your choices of cards on the website there and i will schedule a time with you to do that also, if you would please like my Twitter, go on my Twitter uh, page. My Facebook page is having trouble at the moment. I'm not quite sure why, but please like, subscribe, and share my channel. I really appreciate it. Here's another card. Yeah, okay, so you have the Four of Pentacles. So somebody's trying to hold on to their security, okay, their foundation perhaps, because something ended, might be trying to hang on to your long-term security, your finances, however that may resonate for you maybe property or investments you have you or your love interest is trying to hold on to that so i'm starting to feel like a marriage or long-term commitment ended here for somebody and somebody's trying to hold on to what resources they have okay sometimes that can signify trying to hold on to relationship as well okay not letting go kind of thing you can see this gentleman's here and they're not wanting to let go so when i say hold on to relationship i mean hold on to a relationship and won't let it go or it could be finances if there was an ending here in a commitment long-term standing relationship somebody could be trying to hang on to their finances their financial wealth anything that's of a material nature physical nature okay or a relationship could be sagittarius please Wow, that's too many cards. I'm not taking all those. Let's do that again. Sagittarius, please, in love. December 7th to 12th, 2018, please. Now, in the extended read, reading, I do at least another 15 minutes, give or take. Okay? So it's well worth it. It's almost less than half the price right now, too, just so that you know if you want to do that. If this is res resonating for you and you feel like this is your story, the extended reading is another 15 or so minutes, like I was saying. But also, like, sometimes you'll get a double clarifying card of the death card or, um, you know, the, the uh, Ace of Wands. There's more in-depth for you okay if you're feeling this one you'll definitely want to take advantage of that it's almost less than half the price right now for the holidays i'm hoping to keep that price low for the new year but i'll have to see how how i can figure that out for you this is the knight of wands this is you leo sagittarius or aries okay or you're dealing with another leo sagittarius aries or the knight of wands is wanting to come in or you to them very passionately this knight of wands is full of fire Full of energy and they say it's usually an in and out person they want to come in very passionately and leave just as fast as they came in it's not usually a long-term type of relationship but you know it doesn't have to be we're all full of passion at one time or another it doesn't mean we just want to come in and leave does it right just because we have some passion doesn't mean we're going to come in and leave not necessarily anybody can take on the energy of being passionate and being full of fire okay so you could have anybody in your life you could have an earth sign in your life you could have an Aquarius Libra or Gemini in your life a, a water sign Scorpio Cancer or Pisces because we have cups here as well you understand what I'm saying anybody can take on the energy of this night of wanting to come in be very passionate and leave or stay depending we're not finished the reading this is why we need more clarifying cards okay Sagittarius please in love but I'm feeling either you or someone else is very passionate wanting to come in and usually that means 
It could mean travel. They're, they're speeding to you with a very passionate love offer or you want to give a very passionate love offer to somebody else. Sometimes it can just mean one night with somebody in and out. Or again, like I said, it could just be that they're very passionate right now. It doesn't mean that they don't want a long-term commitment. We're, we're not through a reading yet. That's why we need more cards, okay? Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius in love for December 7th to 12th, 2018. Please, Spirit, what can you tell us about Sagittarius in love? Sagittarius in love, December 7th to 12th, 2018. December 7th to 12th, 2018 in love. Wow, okay. Two of Swords. So somebody's at a crossroads, stalemate, trying to make decisions. You can see this person here is completely blindfolded. They have their arms crossed, meaning they're stagnant right now. They're at a crossroads. They're trying to make decisions. And it could be because something just ended, like I was saying, and they're trying to hold on to something. They could be trying to hold on to this past relationship as it's ending or it could mean that they're just holding on or trying to hold on to what material wealth they have okay one more card and then we're going to go ahead to the extended reading leave me some comments Sagittarius I want to know what's going on with you okay let me know how this resonates for you that's too many cards again stuck energy see the cards are sticking together and I said someone's trying to make a decision at a stalemate that could be why my cards are sticking right now sometimes it's weird it does that and other times they're, they're fine they're free flowing so it's really quite strange what I'm feeling here Sagittarius please December okay you have the Ten of Wands, so you could be feeling right now like you're carrying a very heavy burden, but Ten is the end of a cycle, the end. See, death and transformation. So whatever is happening in your life or your love interest life, whoever you're thinking about, something is ending and brand new beginning. This is the end of a cycle. This should be the end of a burden here happening, okay? This is somebody who, you know, is... Um, definitely feeling exhausted and a little bit stressed a lot of a lot of responsibilities okay you can see he's hovered over here and he's hunched and he's like oh will this ever end 10 is the end of a cycle okay and ace of wands is a new beginning okay and it's usually good news with the Page of Swords here, honest news. Sometimes it can mean they call this a spy card. Somebody's looking in on somebody's, you know, somehow, social media or however, you know, they're, they're looking in. But I feel this is somebody wanting to speak the truth because there's the Ace of Wands here signifying good news handed from the universe, okay? It could be good news about they've managed to hold on to their finance, or hold on to the material wealth, hold on to a house, hold on to a car, whatever, however that may resonate, okay? Coming in passionately, but still not making any solid firm decisions at this time, and it's a burden. You know, they may be wrapping up a previous relationship still, that could be. Oh, but you have the Three of Pentacles. So there definitely could have been a third party relationship with you or somebody else and they're just waiting or you're waiting for that cycle to end. And with the Ten of Wands and the Death card, it's the ending and beginning, okay? Sometimes this signifies teamwork, someone wanting an equal give and take in a relationship or in a business. But with the Knight of Wands, I'm feeling that this is a relationship based and with the Ace of Wands, because it's good news. And a passionate knight wanting to come in, either you to somebody else or somebody else to you, or to each other. Okay. Oop, hang on, that card just went flying. Give me a moment. Wow, okay, you have another major arcana. This is a Fool card, so definitely. This is the ending and a brand new beginning with the Death, death card, Death and Transformation. And the Fool is someone who goes out on their journey and takes you know brand new risks and chances a brand new beginning because they're they have hope now new opportunities in a relationship sometimes a surprise visit giving good news somebody could be coming to give you good news that they're taking risks and chances they're ready to move forward they have the good news they could be coming in fast very passionately or you to them or maybe you want to 
Maybe you want to do this to them. You want to come in and take a risk and give them some good news. That could be. Remember, these energies can be reversed, okay? Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, I swapped these cards. That one goes there. I try to keep your cards straight for you, but I get right involved in my readings. <laughs> now, with the extended read, I'm going to pull a lot more cards. I'm going to move these over. I hope this is resonating for you. Again, please, please hit the thumbs up. And your cards are already dropping out. Hit the thumbs up for me. I'd really, truly appreciate it so I can keep my channel happening and going for you um, to keep these readings free. And if this resonated for you, I will see you at the extended reading, which is below. Okay, right down in the description box, you click the little arrow down and it will bring up the extended version. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I thank you very much for being here. And... Have a great rest of your day. And for those of you this resonated for, I'll see you at the extended reading after this one. It'll be right there below for you. It should be there right away. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.